Hi everyone, this is Teacher Hasty, and today I'm gonna teach you how to sign up for a Canva for Education account for free for your design and presentation needs. So to learn about that and how to do it, let's watch this video. back to our tech tutorial for today and that is to sign up for a free canva for education account for your design editing and presentation needs so first things first you have to open your internet browser and head over to canva.com slash education so you just have to type that on your browser and that will lead you to a site that looks like this one so you can just click there, sign up dun sa upper right corner and you might want to click then itong register now for free. So let's register now for free for an education account. So there we have already the login page. So the login page says, ayan, welcome to Canva for Education. This page allows eligible teachers to create a Canva for Education account. Students must be invited by teachers. So as it's just a little briefer on what a Canva for Education account is, well, it lies in between that basic account and the premium account. Well, of course, yung basic, free yung elements niya. For the premium account, you have to pay for the elements that you have to use for the photos, for the stock images, and all the other animations pa that's available in the website. Well, what's nice about Canva for Education is that are still the elements available in the basic account and there are ones taken from the premium account na bigay na sa atin for free, okay? Just because we're educators, okay? So, if you're a teacher, it is a must. I must say na you have to release this uh, chance to sign up for a Canva for Education account because there are a lot of design elements that are better than the ones available in the basic account, okay? So, three options to choose from if you're going to sign up for an educator account. First is to sign up with Clever, sign up with Google, or sign up with Microsoft. So, what we're using now is sign up with Google. Ayan, but we have naman both Google and Microsoft accounts from DepEd, okay? So, I'm gonna choose sign up with Google. I'm gonna use my DepEd email for this. I so, there you have it. We're now signed up. Ganun kabiles. Wala pang five minutes. We already have our Canva for Education account. So, here's a little guide text. Ayan, welcome to Canva for Education. You're, you've unlocked the best teaching tools Canva has to offer from classroom collaboration to millions of images plus our premium features, ayan, which are made available to you by Canva. So, click Let's Go and then, ayan, invite class members so you can assign and grade work. Ayan, so you can actually create a class using your Canva for Education account. Ayan, so I'm just gonna skip this step. Maybe later. Ayan, so ayan, as you are a new user, ayan, expect that you will find guide texts ayan, as you go along with exploring the website. Ayan. You may find your designs here. Here's what, uh, here's where you'll find designs you've made and the ones that have been shared with you. So, dito yan sa all your designs. If you click next, ayan, another guide text will appear that shows your class space. You can invite new class members here. It's also where you'll find your class designs, templates, and folders. In fact, you can integrate Canva to your Google Classroom as well. If you click next, ayan, yung 3 over 4, ayan, completed work lives here dito sa classwork. When class members turn in their work, you'll find it here. Click next ulit, ayan, account administration. Here's where you'll find your account information. It's also where you switch teams or sign out. Ayan, click done. And then you can now explore the site on your own. Ayan, what are recommended for you as an educator. There are recommended templates, ayan, social media layouts, depending on which you need. There, uh, for events, for marketing, documents, order prints, ayan, video, school, and personal. So, you can also have here a content planner, ayan, if you're a content creator. If you want to start and create a design, you can just click create design. 
So, question is what if you don't have an educator account like mine, yung at deped.gov.ph or tnu.edu at urs.edu. Well, if you don't have one, um, back in our training last May 2020, Canva offered that you can use your personal email and then you'll just apply for an educator access. So that's what I used for my personal account kasi I've been using Canva since 2014. Tapos, I used my Yahoo email pa back then. So, so ngayon, I was worried na if I sign up for an educator account, what will happen to my existing personal account sa Canva? So, what I did was I applied for an educator account using that personal email. And in a ma less than two days, na-approve na agad yung request. So, how do we request for that? So, now at the support page of Canva, and we looked up nga, for the eligibility guidelines for you to be able to sign up for an educator account because for one not all educators have their edu email ayan so what canva offers you is that if, even if you don't have that email still you can maximize the features that canva has to offer just because you are a true blue educator diba that's nice so, sabi dito in order to apply or hold the canva a valid canva for education subscription you must be a teacher at a qualified educational institution so whether or not you have an educator account or not so a qualified educational institution means a public or private primary or secondary school that has been accredited by an authorized governmental agency within its applicable local state provincial federal or national government and has the primary purpose of teaching okay so Familiar naman na tayo dyan. Teacher means an individual or person, employee, or independent contractor working for a qualified educational institutions. Ayan. So, it also recognizes the educators from Google. Ayan. Google certified educators like me. Ayan. And Google certified trainers for that matter. So, if, to make you an eligible teacher for a Canva account, all you need is an edu email but if you don't have one yet gaya nga na sinasabi ko you need to have an existing canva account if you don't have one yet you may just sign up that will only take a few minutes ayan, of your time and you have to supply documentation such as the following you can have a photo or a scan copy of your license or certification you can also have a photo or a scan showing your employment status at school school id or a photo or a screenshot of your google certified educator badge or qualification ayan, and google certified trainer certification ayan, from google for education so, you can also apply for Canvas Education Program, ayan, presenting these requirements, ayan, where do you send the requirements? So, fill out this, ayan, just answer the questions like, eto, how many students at your school, how many students in your class, there. What teaching position do you hold at school and then your school website, and basically, Canva will ask for details to prove that you really are an educator. So, ayan. Yung existing Canva account mo to be granted education status, so you have to know which email did you use to sign up for your Canva account, yung personal na Canva. Because yung account na yon, yung personal account na yun, i-convert siya to a Canva for education account. So ayan, you can also provide alternate contact email for your application status and then select your country and there you have it so do do you currently use canva in class again so this is some this is like a survey na do, you, do other teachers at your school use canva how would you like to use canva for education with your students ayan and then the files that you have to upload yung apat that i mentioned earlier so and then you just have to read and agree to the terms and conditions of canva and then click submit so here, just to show you that I applied, I really applied for a Canva for Education account using my personal email, ayan. And I'm going to show you the approval email, ayan. So it says here, your Canva for Education application has been approved. This was sent to me, kailan? Ayan, June 2, 2020. So let's open that because I never got to open that email. So here, ayan, thanks for registering for our education program. 
So there, andyan na yung features at Canva has for you. Add your class or team, set up your brand kit, access over 3 million free premium photos and illustrations, access to over 60,000 templates, and over 750 premium fonts. Access to over 8,000 stock videos with Canva Video. Access to a growing library of tracks with Canva Music. Download your designs as animation GIFs or MP4 videos. Download your designs with transparent background na kailangan talaga natin when we create our branding. Um, unlimited number of design and photo folders with Folders Pro plus other add-ons like Google Classroom integration and more. Ayan. So to access your new features, log out and log back in. Yon. So you can also join their Facebook group right here, Canva Teachers Community. Ayan. So that hindi ako nakalog in. Ayan siya. So you can just join this group for design ideas that you might need and to network with other Canva educators. So there you have it and I hope that you get to enjoy your free Canva for education account for your design, editing, and presentation needs and for all the other things that you need Canva for. That, thank you for watching this tutorial. For more videos like this, subscribe to my channel that's Hazel Angeline Tesoro on YouTube and click the bell button so that you'll be notified of my future uploads. Follow me on my social media channels, Teacher Hasty, that's on Instagram and Facebook. And with that, thank you so much. See you on our next tech tutorial.